Good morning, everyone. Uh, if anyone was at AU over in Sydney last week, they may have seen a presentation that I did uh, at the Autodesk booth on using InfraWorks uh, in a non-traditional sense, as in using it for plant layouts. Uh, the whole idea of, of InfraWorks that is, you know, you can create roads quickly, you can create some basic buildings um, and get an idea on a, on a concept of, of what you want to do in an infrastructure sense. Um, but at the moment, there's there's nothing within InfraWorks basically to, to build up sort of plant objects or pipe objects. Um, so what I'm going to do today is, is just go through uh, basically some ideas that I've put down in regards to creating pipe racks, building in plant tanks uh, and even pumps to do a conceptual layout of a plant. Um, so you can see here on screen we've got InfraWorks but before we do that we basically have to jump into Plant 3D uh, and I've got three objects here. So I've got a, a pump that you can see on the screen, uh, I've got a pipe rack so all I've done is one bay of the pipe rack and it's uh, I've just done in sort of a generic size 6 by 6 metres, uh, 6 metres high with uh, a couple uh, levels thrown in there. So uh, we've got that and I've also got a, a tank that I've done inside Plant 3D as a piece of equipment. Um, so before you get started inside InfraWorks, within Plant we've just got to export um, these out as FBX files. So there's nothing else really to do other than just, uh, I'm going to stick these on my desktop. Um, you can export lights, cameras, materials, I'm, I'm not really too fussed on it so I'm just going to export the objects uh, and click OK. So I've done that for the tank and I'll do the same for the pipe rack. So just use FBX export. And then we're going to do the same for the pump as well. So we just typed in FBS export on the command line. Uh, you can do it off the menu as well. Okay, so now we have our three FBX files I've just placed on my desktop. So we can close off Plant 3D at this point. You can obviously use, um, you know, even vanilla AutoCAD 3D objects there as well. So the first step to to looking at to getting these plan objects for a concept is having a look at our style palette uh, and you can do that off, off the, the ribbons here inside InfoWorks and we just go down to one of the palette menus here called 3D Model so um, we can just create uh, new styles from this so you can see I've already got my pump in there I've already got the rack so what I'm going to do is create a new one and I'm going to bring in that tank that we exported just before. So I'm going to bring in the tank as an FBX. Um, and then we've got some scaling here. So because we're going from meters to, uh, sorry, from millimeters to meters, uh, it's going to be a bit big. So what I'll do, I'll just show you what it's going to look like. So if we just jump into city furniture, I'll just rename this one back to plant tank. So to show you in regards to its size and the model, okay, so it's in there a bit big because we've gone from plant units to uh, InfraWorks units, so from millimetres to, to metres, so I'm just going to go through and edit this and then reduce it down by a thousand. Okay. Okay. So you can see there now we've got the tank, uh, the tank in there. It's a little bit more sort of obviously normal sized. Okay. So I'm just going to delete that for now. So now we've got our, our tank, our pump, and our pipe rack. So the tank and the pump um, are, are fairly self-explanatory. We can just place them in there as a model. In regards to the pipe rack, though, um, basically what you have to do is under under the road styles, you can copy one of the other styles or create a new one. Um, but basically, what you do is make um, you know get rid of the the marking, make the widths fairly small because we, you know we don't need to see uh, the surface of the road in there. We just want to see the rack. And to bring in the rack, 
we basically bring in the FBX file as a road decoration okay and then all I've done here you can see I've adjusted the spacing to be six meters so because my that that rack bay is six meters so I just need to basically array it for the six meters and then the translation I've just offset it negative uh, three meters um, the, the way that InfoWorks is doing the left and the right hand side so I'm just bringing them so they basically overlay one another okay so this is then what we end up with so I have my pipe rack listed as a road style inside InfoWorks so if someone comes to me and says that we want to conceptually build a, a, a plant uh, inside InfoWorks we can start off by doing maybe a coverage area so within InfoWorks you'll see in, in other YouTube videos that we've got um, so I'm going to build it up uh, let's do let's do it as a commercial zone so I'm just going to place a zone here um, you know 600 odd meters by 300 okay so let's just place that at grade so then what I can do is, is just start placing some rows just to lay out these so I'm just going to do a main road um, down one length of this coverage area okay and then I'm going to do the plant roads itself so I'll just call them up as local roads uh, as, as the style of, of a sidewalk with some green space so I'm just going to do this as sort of a ring road around our plant you can see that InfoWorks cleans up the intersections uh, and what we're going to do is just basically come back here and, and maybe change change some of the radiuses here okay um, and let's place maybe another small road coming down this way okay so maybe that's going to be our, our plant layout so where the roads are going to sit so now what we want to do is place some pipe racks so instead of using one of the other draw styles, I'm going to pick the pipe rack draw style that I created from before. So here it is there. Okay, and you can see there we've got the main spine of the pipe rack sitting on our, our, our site. And then I can also do the same for some of the side racks coming off here as well. So I'm just going to draw them coming out remember this is all a concept as well so there's nothing it's not locked down you know we can come back and change a few bits and pieces you can see here that that racks sort of encroaching on the road a little bit so we, we might just sort of bring that endpoint back over a little bit uh, and then we'll do the same so I'll just keep doing a few of these up up the rack here Okay, so we've got a few areas there that we can we can put, start putting some equipment in. So with the the tanks and the pump now, I go to my city furniture tab, and then you can see here I've got a plant 3D tank, and then I can place it where I think it needs to go. But you can see that it's obviously a little bit small. We want to make it a, a little bit bigger. So what we need to do is inside InfoWorks, go to the properties tab. And then we've got a scale command. So I'm going to scale this up 10 in the X and 10 in the Y. And then I click on update. Now you can see there we've got a, sort of a fairly large tank there. I can go through and edit it and then just pick it up and move it in, in whichever X, Y, even, you know, even Z direction. Plus as well if I want to copy it. So I can just do Control C, Control V and there it is there so if I do the same control Z control V and control V again okay so there we've got a little bit of a tank farm uh, I can also do like you saw before some of these tanks so I just look uh, some of the pumps 
let's open the, the plant pump if I think that I'm going to need some pumps around here I can stick them in the model and then just go back and rotate edit it pick up the grips and then spin it around to, to where whichever way I think it's going to sit so it's probably going to sit somewhere uh, underneath this rack it's going to sit either side there and then we can do the same okay so you can see visually there that we can see what uh, our tank farm is going to look like with with some of the um, of the pumps in there also if you know if we think that we're going to have some some tall columns or towers in here so we can do the same with these look at the properties of the tank so instead of being uh, uh, 10 meters in, in scale so we might change that to be 2 by 2 and then let's make it 10 meters scaled in, in the Z value and so there we go so now we've got some columns in here okay so there it is there so we can go through and, and build up our, our plant as a concept using Infoworks uh, and obviously plant some plant 3D objects. Now, some of the benefits of this are, if we go through and we want to create a storyboard of this, I'll just delete one of the other storyboards that I had. So, because the, the plant objects, the plant uh, pipe rack is basically a road, we can tell Infoworks to use the design road of that rack as the road that we're going to drive down. So now that I've brought that in there, you'll see when I click on the play button, we can basically walk down that pipe rack and then get an idea on, on what um, our, our concept for this plant is going to look like. And then obviously as well, we can come around, we can put vehicles in here. So if I think that there's going to be um, maybe a couple trucks, so we can just look inside InfraWorks and see dump truck or fire truck. Uh, let's put a semi-trailer semi in here. Okay, so from a visualization perspective, we'll be able to have a look at you know what it's going to be like having some vehicles driving around so I can adjust that in its XY value and then even go so far as placing people so if I just come in here and type um, so a man, just a man standing there waiting So you can see that there's our little man. And we can go through and obviously just edit that and just adjust his Z value so he's standing on the ground. Okay, so you know instead of doing 2D plant layouts in AutoCAD or any other 2D CAD package, we can use InfraWorks to build up a, a 3D model and to get a really, really good idea on what our plant is going to look like. Um, you know, and then from this, like I said, you know, we can create movies. So we've got the storyboard there. We can even do some sun and sky analysis. So if it came up that, you know, we do need to to have a look at, you know, things like shadows at time of day, so we can get a really, really good, um, quick idea on on where the shadows are going to fall on some of these objects, uh, and even you know, obviously particular days of the year. And then if we have a look, we can change the wind direction wind speed and even the cloud cover so you can see up there in the sky there's our cloud we can adjust the speed and even which way it's going as well okay so you know showing this off to someone you, you, you're going to get a lot better idea of what it's going to look like and again we can look at this through a web browser if you decide to share it with certain people and you can also obviously take this to your iPad uh, and take it out to to your customer or the client um, and get get some some buying and, and add notes and, and comments to that model and then synchronize that all back up in the cloud
Thank you.